President-elect Donald Trump's choice of Steve Bannon as White House chief strategist. The Anti-Defamation League writing this, quote, it is a sad day when a man who presided over the premier website of the alt-right, a loose-knit group of white nationalists and unabashed anti-Semites and racists, is slated to be a senior staff member in the People's House. So, do these harsh claims have any validity? Here to weigh in is the president of the Zionist Organization of America, Morton Klein. Morton, you've heard the speculation, the rumors, the statements. What's your, what are your thoughts? Look, uh, I'm the head of the oldest pro-Israel group in the United States, the ZOA, Zionist Organization of America. I'm a child of Holocaust survivors who lost virtually my whole family to vicious anti-Semitism and hatred during the Holocaust. <laughs> this is ADL is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you know, uh, in the 50s and 60s when hospitals and law firms were anti-Semitic, they wouldn't hire Jews to work there. <laughs> uh, uh, Steve Bannon has a number of Orthodox Jews who wear yarmulkes all day long uh, working for him. He has homosexuals working for him, gay people. Uh, uh, Anti-Semites wouldn't do that. <laughs> and when we fought uh, campus anti-Semitism at City College, uh, Steve Bannon had his reporters calling City College repeatedly, calling Governor Cuomo repeatedly, how are you going to fight this anti-Semitism, do something about it. In fact, here's an article from uh, Bright, uh, his, his, his website, <laughs> BDS responsible for spike in anti-Semitism. Here's an article about swastikas being drawn uh, in New York City schools. An anti-Semite would not highlight such things. And when it comes to Israel, <laughs> every article about Israel is positive and supportive. The articles about the Palestinian Authority, uh, uh, it, uh, they expose the fact that the Palestinian Authority promotes hatred and violence against right. Jews, names schools and streets against Jews. This guy is the opposite of an anti-Semite. He's a strong supporter of Israel and a Zionist, and I find the ADL a disgrace, and we've asked him to apologize for this a disgraceful character assassination. Well, it's very interesting. <laughs> I mean, Jeff Benedict, who I know quite well, who's uh, written various books, co-author, said he used to work over at Breitbart and left, but he says he's never had a problem with him, and he happens to be Jewish. Uh, Steve Bannon also, I guess people, some of his critics are referring to the fact that some stuff came out in his divorce proceedings, uh, but have not been verified. I want to bring up, uh, this is another prone point, that Donald Trump has a son-in-law who's Jewish and now has a daughter who converted to Judaism. If the son-in-law is playing such a prominent role in the campaign, which turned out to be a victorious one, why would he ever promote the hiring of Steve Bannon in the uh, primary process, in the electoral process, and now in the White House process? You, you're exactly right. He's, his son-in-law is an Orthodox Jew. Uh, as is his daughter now, <laughs> and the people around him are the most pro israel people I've ever seen in any administration. Mike Pence, Rudy Giuliani, uh, Newt Gingrich, Mike Huckabee, Sheldon Adelson, an ardent Zionist, has given Trump $100 million. Do you think they would tolerate an anti-Semite uh, amongst them? Uh, it's uh, completely uh, absurd. And even Alan Dershowitz, the liberal Democrat, supporter of Obama, has come out yesterday defending Bannon, saying this is an outrage, this is not anti-Semitism, they're demeaning, ADL is demeaning the word of mm. anti-Semitism by accusing this pro-Israel, pro-Jewish man uh, uh, of this nonsense. Senator Bernie Sanders, who's <laughs> as pro-Jewish as any Jewish person in the, uh, as, who is very challenging to Israel on a regular basis, <laughs> says that he wants uh, the president-elect to take Steve Bannon out of the mix. I don't see that really happening more. And also, you do have a three-month trial run. When he came aboard, is there anything anti-Semitic about the Trump run for the presidency, which ultimately won, uh, culminated in him winning? On the contrary, his platform is the most pro-Israel, the most pro-Israel platform of any party in history. <laughs> Why would he bring on an anti-Semite who wouldn't want to implement such a platform? <laughs> this is all partisan politics. This is all simply uh, uh, Democrats who want to harm the Republican Party right. and, and uh, ruin Trump's credibility. It's all about politics because they haven't said a word about Keith Ellison, who's up for the, being the head uh. of the Rep Democratic National Committee, a man who was called Israel an apartheid state, <laughs> said we shouldn't kill leaders of terrorists because they want to be martyrs, uh, a man who has taken money from Muslim Brotherhood affiliated people, who was taking money from CARE, who, who won't even condemn Hamas by name, and has spoken and got a to Muslim Brotherhood Farrakhan. affiliated people. Yeah, we're going to talk about that a little bit later because it looks like he's going right. to be the next uh, DNC chair. Morton Klein, thanks so much.